Hello guys, uh, welcome back. So I think last time we left off at this point. We did uh, last time we did the cab rows right over here laid out uh, a typical uh, road curves that will be used for this. Yeah, I just laid out the typical road curves and such. So right now what I want to do, I want to go ahead and place a typical typical door, typical typical gate over here. And then go ahead and uh, adjust mm, do the columns all around so i'll go back to my ground floor i'm going to this a a door i'm going to place a gate right over here i'll go back to design I'll go back to my door tool basically such a garage garage so uh, this is my garage door and it is garage double door right over here mm. and then go to garage door settings and on here right here where you have the detail level on the 3d level basically what i want is that for this uh, door to be visible in my 2d but uh, hinder it from being visible in my 3d so that in my 3d i can import a gate and basically place the gate right over there so I'll just go right over here and just on 3 straight D detail level so it make it to be off and I want to my dirt to begin at what level at level of uh, negative 450 that's where we had our wall beginning negative 450 I want this to be a uh, of height 2500 and just now press this call ok can come to this point and do this door this window this door this gate so this door up to this point I'm just basically adjusting this to somewhere like that just need to adjust this and then to somewhere like that I can go to 3d try to decide what I have so we have that as an empty door over there before proceeding further, let me place uh, some typical columns right over here. So I'm going to place my column, I'll go to this column tool over here. And I want to use a typical column of 450 by 450. 450. 450 by 450. And then you can use uh, a typical, uh, let me go to segment. Okay, should be should begin to a project of negative 450 negative 450 and then uh, we can set it to a height of the 250 seems to be quite high so i can set it to a height of negative 7 uh, 750 it will give me a height of 2700 uh, 2700 yeah i can work with that just that to that as my reference point and go to segment and then uh, allow all of this and work with this as closing yeah i can use this close surface press ok and just basically come to this point right up there or, uh, let me just shift this reference point this
to a typical distance of 50 distance of 50 I just need to do a slab covering of this the very tops and still use up same same glucose glucose surface that I've used on the, the column and then uh, yeah the case will go 50 but now this one should be to project uh, this should be should have a height of 2700 so should be to project uh, 2700 okay shouldn't be to project 2700 it should be 2700 minus uh, 450 so it should be to 2250 should be 2250 Press OK and then hold this. Then we just need to highlight this whole intermediate button. Select like this line tool. Just my magic wand and just basically. Okay, just need to highlight the slab tool. Select this line work and this magic wand. Go ahead and place a slab right over there. I can go to 3D, try to be made. So I have a design of that sort. And try to edit this. I have something of that sort. I do feel I should have used, uh, should have expanded this a little bit. Let me just undo this. That slab, let me just uh, offset this. Document line tool. Offset, decode. At a distance of 100, uh, at a distance of 50, so that it can work with 100 now. And then this one, I can get rid of this, delete, just go into this shift. Go back to design, select this lab tool, use the magic wand, and just place that typical right over there. Go back to 3D. Yeah, I can work with this. Uh, if I can do this, go back to 3D. So I have something like that. Let me just redo that. So that is my slab right over there. Can I be to this? The next thing that I need to do, okay, let me drag a copy of this. Shift Control D and basically drag from this point to to somewhere over there. So up to somewhere over there. The next thing that I want to do I want to place these columns all around a perimeter wall. So in order to do so in this this side we had a typical distance of uh, 40,000 then we added another 43,000 so you can just discuss the 43,000 divide by 3,500 so can do this I use a typical so I'm just going to select this both of this let's select this I'm going to select the column Okay, I see now what I did draw over here. I did drag my line instead of dragging the slab. So I should have dragged with the column and the slab move, then drag a copy. Drag a copy from that point. To that edge over there, then I just need to do I'm going to right click move and then multiply more like a spread or oh, yeah let me just distribute like 12 copies press ok and then I want to distribute them from this node over here to where on this edge Right about there. So I have to 
this is my typical columns and you can do the same for this other edge so just uh, control D D plus then uh, so that I can move this copy just want to typically drop this up to uh, up to this edge right over there right over there and then basically move and then uh, multiply yeah turn so you can drag it from this edge over here all the way to where I'm going to have this this is somewhere like that when you go to my 3D so this is my typical columns over there and over there you can do the same for this back side over here on this side with did the distance of uh, 50,000 so 50,000 uh, 500 so I can work with them um, I can do almost 12 for 15 so I just hold into this column and the slab and then right click and then move and then multiply and then instead of using 12 this time around I use 15 press ok and then just drop them from this node from this node all the way to all the way to this other node right up here but before I do that I can actually decide to get rid of this first should have deleted that one so that you can have this one just into that of this we usually have some other other form some razor wires being placed over here and such that basically to improve the security of your house and such but for in our case right now it's just work with this typical section that you have over here but for this entry purchase over here i want to go ahead and uh, use a different texture of this so i want to create a new mazera texture over here go to element element surfaces and then uh, so I want to create that new Mazera texture I'll just uh, go to this surface can use uh, let me go back to this tone work instead of tone work come on you can create a new profile of this tone work and instead of call it stone one stone mazera mazera so that's the name stone mazeras and call it this mazera one mazera zero one then just press ok and they want to browse and then add once I've come to add, I want to go back to I want to import this Mazera texture. So my Mazera texture is somewhere. I'm going to use this one. Key open and then just open this image. And press OK. So I have those as my Mazera texture. Just need to do some adjustments over here. Can work with one thousand. 1000 and 
Let's see if I can do this. Let me first implement on this. And then I can be able to adjust this. So I can now come to my column over here. Go to Ctrl T. And on its model. Go ahead and now use uh, the new created stone Mazera structure. This one. Stone Mazera 01. Let's press OK. Go to my 3D. Can just uh, zoom on this. So I have something of this sort. I still need to uh, to adjust it a little bit. Let me go back to options. Let me attributes surfaces. And I can adjust this to something like 700. Let's see. I could swing it by 700. It actually gives me press OK. Yeah, and now 700 makes 700. So I have that Mazera structure, texture right over here. So Mazera are typically just a, a form of sedimentary rocks that you can you just use them to increase on the appearance of, of your house. You can use it even for the walling. But at this juncture, I just want it. I just want to use it on this column. So I'll go back to my ground floor. I'll need to place uh, some form of street lighting right over here. So I'll go back to documents. Actually, that means but design. And then just go to this uh, lamp tool back here, and then just search for street lights. This one street lamp. I want you to use this one instead. So we have, you can adjust its total height to a distance of, uh, I don't know, okay, the one that one. Okay, we can open that in 100 then instead. Then preview, we can set it to project uh, something like uh, two. Because it's talked of 13 seconds, it's maybe like 5. I can still have the 1500. But we had the original there. Just press OK. Come to this point, I just place it right over there. Go to my 3D. Try to view this. And I think it's at an appropriate point. So I can go back to my ground floor. Right over here. I just need to drag now this copy. I'm going to select my lamp, my slab, and my column, and then um, move just a uh, to mirror a copy, mirror a copy, uh, not from that edge. Instead of mirroring a copy, I should just uh, control D, D plus, just drag a copy, copy of this. From the center to a point like that, but you need it to be at that point, so to a copy like that, and then go to my 3D. I have something of that nature. The only thing that I need to change is so the only thing that is remaining over here is just placing my gate. So, in order to place my gate. I'm going to go to my reject tool over here. Yeah, and I have my gate right over here. So, in order to come and place that, I'm coming to, uh, come to that tab. Go to load other objects. Once I load other objects, uh, So I have different gates that I can use over here. That I'm using this one, so I just press OK. And then I can just readjust it. And it should be the projector and get it 450. Get it 450. But over here it should be to a height of uh, this one over here, I can adjust it to 5000. 
press ok and then you can get my ground flow so I'm just go to my ground flow get up here and then just place my kit right over there and go to 3D Some adjustments for the 
basically they need to build next to the beach take this thing to tin motion or aluminum you can decide to use it with the tin motion or aluminum just need to move this nodes so from tin motion or aluminum and then you do just basically do some few rendering of this Yeah, I'll stop right over there. 